exactly is a geometric sequence? Well, first of all, sequence just means that it's a list, okay, of values. And you can see that the values are separated by a comma, okay? So sequence is a list. A series is actually a sum. You're adding them together. You'll see plus signs in between here. But a sequence is a list. And geometric means that we're multiplying by the same quantity to get to the next term, and then the same quantity to get to the next term, etc. That term that you're multiplying by to get to the next term is called the ratio. And we use the letter R for ratio, okay? So if you were to take six divided by three, you see how you get two, that's a ratio. 12 divided by six, see how you're also getting two, that's a ratio. So that's our R value. Now another thing I wanna point out is that this is N equals one, this is N equals two, N equals three. That tells you what term that you're on. And then if you look at a sub one, a sub two, a sub three, et cetera, that's the value of that term. So meaning, what is the value of the first term? Three, what is the value of the second term? Six, and so on, right? So now the question is, how do we get a formula for any term in this geometric sequence? Well, what you can think about is, let's look at this over here. If we wanna find the one, two, three, four, five, sixth term, n equals six, we would start at three, right? And we would multiply by our ratio two, that's our common ratio, once, twice, three times, four times, five times. Now you might be saying to yourself, Mario, how come five, this is the sixth term? Well, because we already are on that first term, we already know this first term, we're just multiplying by the ratio one less time to get to the sixth term. So if we think about what we just did, we took the first value, which is three, we multiply by two, n minus one times, okay? So in this case, that's our formula. So a sub n equals three times two to the n minus one. Now, if we wanted to find the sixth term, what we would do is we would put six in place of n. So this would be three times two to the fifth, and we can simplify that, and that's gonna be the value of our sixth term, okay? Now, to write this in a more you know, generic way so that you can use it, here's your formula right here. It's a sub n equals a sub one, that's the value of the first term, times r, that's your common ratio, that's what you're multiplying by to get to the next term to the n minus one power. It's always one less, okay? So that's your formula. So 